Welcome to the city of Delft, home to Delftware pottery, the birthplace of Dutch painter Johannes Vermeer, and where royal Dutch family members rest. Today we will explore what the city has to offer. Our first stop is the Royal Delft Museum to see the signature blue and white pottery called Delftware or Delft Blau, which is deeply rooted in Dutch history. Over 400 years ago, Chinese porcelain was introduced to the Dutch market and only popular amongst the rich and upper class. Soon after, demand for a more affordable piece of porcelain rose, and thus Delftware came into existence. Admission to the Royal Delft includes a self-guided tour through the museum and factory. Get a glimpse into the workshop where you can observe artists up close hand-painting pieces. Did you know that it takes 8 to 10 years of practice to master this craft? This gives you a better appreciation for the trade and an understanding of why authentic Delphware is so expensive. The factory dates back to the 17th century and is one of the last standing original Delft pottery factories left. Here you will see different stages of the ceramic process. To conclude our visit, we stopped by the Royal Delft Café and Gardens. Of course, our coffee was served in their own porcelain cups, which added a nice touch. Next, we visited the Nieuwe Kerk, or the New Church, which actually isn't new since construction started in the 1400s. Located in the heart of the city, this church is famous for housing royal tombs like William of Orange. The highlight of the Nieuwe Kerk is the bell tower climb, which consists of nearly 400 stone and wooden steps. While certainly not for the faint of heart, the winding climb leads visitors to an amazing panoramic view of the city. From these vantage points, you can see The Hague and Rotterdam. On your way back down, marvel at the church bell, which rings at set intervals throughout the day. Opposite from the church, on the same central square, is the City Hall of Delft. You can't help but admire its architecture and Renaissance style. Finally, we ended the day at East Gate, one of the last surviving gates in Delft. This picturesque landmark on the water truly encompasses the medieval atmosphere of the city and is well worth a visit. This concludes our visit to Delft. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.